Hello, you're live with Kasia Madeira on BBC World News. Can anything be done about a global migrant crisis? Migration, the focus as President Biden revives the so-called Three Amigos Summit of North American leaders. And I'm Laura Trevelyan, live here in Mexico City. That experience of being sent back to Mexico from the United States can be a daunting one, though it can also have an upside, as I found out from two deportees here in Mexico City. Well, on the EU-Belarus border, as more migrants attempt to cross overnight, Poland warns that this crisis could last for months. Several coal-fired power plants around the Indian capital, Delhi, are temporarily shut in an effort to tackle the toxic smog. And in a special report, we track down the men suspected of being behind the hacking group Evil Core, who are living a life of luxury in Russia. In the next half hour, we will be live in Mexico City, in Warsaw, in Delhi, and also in Nairobi. Hello and a very warm welcome to the programme. The US-Mexico relationship has been dominated by a single issue in recent years. It is migration. Since President Biden took office in January, the US has seen a record influx of migrants at its southern border, prompting criticism of the administration's policies from across the political spectrum. Now, while the number of migrants taken into custody by US border officials along Americans' border with Mexico has fallen in the past three months, overall, figures are still at record highs. They're definitely higher than during President Trump's presidency. Well, on Thursday, Joe Biden will host the leaders of Canada and Mexico at the White House for the North American Leaders Summit in the first gathering of the so-called Three Amigos since 2016. And it's the surge in migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border that will be high on the agenda to see how U.S. foreign policy is playing out in this gateway to Latin America. Well, let's cross over live to Mexico City, where my colleague Laura Trevelyan joins us now. Laura, over to you.